guess what are we going to do? Can you guess? I'll tell you. Um, we will end the LCD display from this one with this one. It's one of these simple Nokia's from like 2005. What? Wait, Rob, you grab me a beer? It is the beginning of a nightmare. I just want to hear the music, that's all. Good morning, everyone, and it is Thursday. A palette of gold. It's just black and white. A palette of gold. Or dream light. Basically, fireworks. A palette of gold. A palette of gold. Also, the boot screen is just black and white. I'll place the battery in the color Nokia. Let's get started with the modifying process. It's quite easy actually. Like, look. Firstly, we have to remove the case. Like this. I'll do the same for the color, color yeah. Nokia. Like, for removing the case, you don't even need a screwdriver or something made of plastic you can just use the thumbnail now we will use the screwdriver uh, i don't remember exactly which one is it so we'll try so the right uh, screwdriver head is the t5h we just need to remove Four screws. Okay, but just as few as I possibly can. Now, it's quite simple, you just remove the frame, like this, and we'll do so for the other Nokia too, and look at this, the screens have the same connection. Now let's just connect the battery and attempt to turn it on. And look at this. It's still the monochrome uh, thing, but look, if we enter the menu, the color icons and the battery is dying let me adjust the camera and look it's color so that means that we can reassemble the phones oh yes I'll show you something but firstly let's reinsert the frame so the screen won't fall The monochrome screen will not work on the Nokia 1 1600. Yeah, it will not work. It will just say contact service. However, if you connect it to the Nokia 2310, it will 
still show the image, but it will be uh, really distorted. Wow, this color, Nokia, looks so cursed with a monochrome screen. Now let's add the front piece and the battery, the battery cover and let's boot up the phone. Just wait. It's bugging out sometimes, but it was doing it even before replacing the screen. And look, it's color, almost. Some stuff is still black and white because of the firmware. Basically, the firmware the OS uses bitmap uh, images. Uh, the equivalent of wave files, but for ima images. Sometimes it bugs out because the because I need to fix the. But look, if I go to the screensaver and click flame flames, look. It's in color. Col color transition. It's still black and white. Dream night. It's in color. But uh, the phone will have a slightly a slight issue. See, the resolution, the screen resolution is slightly bigger. And because of that, it has two white lines. The screen isn't broken. If I place it in another Nokia, it will be fine. But on a monochrome Nokia, it will have the lines. I like this. Let's use this. And yeah, that was basically the mod. And yeah, it's quite simple. It doesn't take that much time to modify the Nokia either. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.